Hey makers and welcome to another video. Today we will have a look at my 3D printed CNC machine. Oh wait, wrong script. Today we will have a look at how to test the quality of your 3D printing filament. I ran some tests on PLA. A local reseller sent me this roll of filament to give an honest review about its quality. So let's start with the tests. This will be a fairly short video telling you how I test my PLA. You can run different tests, maybe mine will not be to your liking, but at least this will give you a starting point. So the first thing that I do is to make sure it's tightly sealed. You see, every filament should be vacuum sealed to stop it from absorbing moisture. Now this is PLA, so it should be able to withstand some moisture environments. But since the filament will be mostly shipped with bows across the sea, the chances of it getting moistened through the shipping is likely to happen. Making sure that it's tightly sealed would be a good indication of its quality. Now this roll of filament was tightly sealed, so that's a good sign. Now time for the second test, which is testing the rigidity of the PLA. If the filament did absorb moisture, it's going to snap very easily. So if you've got a filament that you can just break easily, then it's probably accumulated a lot of moisture and you need to put in an oven or a dehydrator. I compare this filament to some other filament that I know they accumulate a little bit of moisture and as you can tell, they are more brittle and they can break more easily. So far so good, it's time for the weight tests and it weighs a kilogram. Of course it's a bit more because of the plastic spool. I tested the diameter of the spool, of course I did not test all the 350 meters of filament, but it was an indication that it was within the specs of 1.75 millimeters. Now we are done with the touching tests and now it's time to print something useful. So I went to Thingiverse to search for something useful, but I guess something useful does not exist. Oh wait. I think this is gonna be handy. So I downloaded this pen holder. I think it's a good chance for you to know how to use spiral mode in Cura. As you can tell, this is a solid object and if you try to print it without the special mode called spiral, it's going to take a lot of time and material. In another program, it's called vase mode. It's basically going to get rid of all the infill and only print one layer shell. With this, it's like vase, so it's empty from the inside and it's not going to take as long as it would have been if it was a solid object. So I loaded the filament, see this magic trick? Well, at least I tried. I loaded the SD card and started printing the pen holder and I applied some glue. This will make sure that the part will stick better to the bed. Now I'm planning to make a video to show you my methods on how I make PLA stick to the printing surface. It even involves using hot glue sometimes, but I will leave it for later. And if you want to see that video, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification for upcoming videos. And here's a quick lapse of me failing my first print. Yep, this was a huge failure. To be honest, I can't really blame the filament here. This is my first time using this mode and I printed it just way too fast. Now it's time for round two and in this round I decide to 3D print something that is simple and well, something that I got the hang of it. So I decided to print a cube, which is something that I should not be able to miss even if I try. And to be honest, the cube turned out well. There is no gaps, there is no cracks and overall I think the quality was good. Now of course I was not satisfied with the fact that the spiral mode was a failure so I decided to give it another shot. This time I decreased the speed to only 40 millimeters and I reduced it 10 degrees of heat. Why did I do that? Well I'm not sure. Every time I have a problem just decrease the temperature and magically things get better. Maybe I'm just getting lucky here. Now there is something important that you should consider which is popcorn sounds. Yep, popcorn sounds. While it's printing, get your ear near the nozzle and 
try to hear if there is any popcorn sound, something like if you're hearing that, it means that your filament is very wet and you're not going to get a good layer adhesion between the layers. So change the filament and just put it in a dehydrator or an oven overnight and this should fix it and it's gonna come back like new. Now with this, the tests are over. And as you can tell, this pen holder is way better. No cracks, no overhangs. This thing now became usable. And I hope you learned something in this video. So let's run a quick recap. So first of all, make sure that your filament is not brittle, it does not break easily, make sure the diameter is close as possible to 1.75 millimeters. make sure it does not make any sounds while it's printing, and the finer print should not have any cracks as long as you're printing PLA. Now ABS is a different story for a different video. Now I hope this was helpful and see you in the next one, peace.